Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, what's better than 41? 61. 41's the normal high. 61, the high temperature today. Take a look at the numbers. Uh, way above average here, upper 50s to low 60s. Though I have run into some people who actually prefer cooler weather and snow, but we just don't see that. Uh, in the near term, we're going to continue with the above average temperatures really the next seven days. In fact, I don't see temperatures getting below 32 for the next seven days, both day and night. Threat tracker now through the weekend. Uh, low level green, nothing really significant or high impact. Now late tonight after midnight, little patchy fog, but not nearly as thick as it was last night, early this morning. So the mild trend continues. Be tracking a front on Sunday, and this may knock down the temperature a little bit along with some extra clouds. I'll show you that in just a second. Our next storm system as far as wind and rain, uh, this is arriving on Monday. Uh, rain likely, I think the heaviest rain though would be actually Monday evening and especially Monday night. Visibility a lot better in Fall River, Bragger Bridge now, mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the mid-50s in most areas were mostly cloudy, comfortable in Providence, unseasonably mild, even for a December evening, still holding at 56. Oakland Beach and Warwick coming in at 56 as well, and other locations now with similar temperatures. So heading out this evening, it's cool, but certainly not cold or bitter. Here's the satellite and radar composite, and just patches of clouds coming through, but not producing any precipitation. So we'll stay dry, rain free tonight, though the humidity is still on the high side. And again, that may promote a little bit of patchy fog. Ooh, what happened? Tonight just went by. All right, tonight, uh, looking for mainly cloudy skies and comfortable, a little fog after midnight. Some of that may spill over patchy early tomorrow morning, though not a big deal. Burning off to sunshine, 11 a.m., we're up to 57. And then during the afternoon, here we go again, upper 50s to lower 60s. So very, very comfortable. All right, here's the situation on Sunday. This is what we call a backdoor cold front. It comes in from the northeast, and all it does really is separate uh, cool air on one side, mild air on the other. It's essentially a, a shift in the wind direction. This side of the front has northeast winds. This side of the front has winds out of the southwest. And this wind direction makes a huge difference as far as who is mild and who is cool. So it's, a, it's a kind of a temperature dilemma as far as the forecast. But how we're going to play it for Sunday is that it's not as warm as Saturday. Though I do think temperatures do go up into the upper 50s for a while, but we do have more of a rapid cool down later Sunday afternoon. But overall, the weekend looking okay. Saturday is the brighter and milder day. Again, that uh, backdoor cold front on Sunday bring in some extra clouds and cooler temperatures, but still running above average for this time of year. Here comes the rain and wind on Sunday. Those temperatures still warm. I think the better chance of downpours is not so much during the day, but rather Monday night and then uh, clearing out by Tuesday, windy and dry, temperatures a little cooler, but these numbers are still running above the normal high again, which is 41. All of next week, temperatures in the mid-50s. Enjoy the weekend, especially Saturday. All right, Tony, thank you so much. Coming